Here's another uh, companion video about credit applications. Uh, we oftentimes get uh, calls or when we're out giving community lectures, we'll get questions about um, dealerships that have said certain things about why you have to sign a credit application. Remember these um, are very important documents to them because it really sets up the credit application, their control of the financing and the negotiations uh, for the deal. So um, what kind of things do they tell consumers? One is that the Patriot Act or uh, anti-terrorism laws require that anybody who's gonna buy a, a car from them has to sign a credit application. Not true. Uh, the Patriot Act requires that uh, they know who they're selling cars to, but that only means identification. That, and a credit application is only one way and a very extreme uh, and unduly intrusive way to determine who you're dealing with. You certainly have your driver's license, perhaps your passport, um, a variety of other pieces of information. Another thing that they tell you is that uh, you have that they get a credit application in every sale. Well, that's uh, that would be illegal because they can only get credit applications uh, or demand them um, in situations that are an extension of credit. So a cash sale, they really have no business um, asking even for your credit application because you're not trying to. Um, negotiate a credit transaction. So they have no need for your credit, no legitimate need for your credit um, history or report. Sometimes they'll tell you that you need to have a uh, credit application because you're writing a check or paying by cashier's check or in some other way. Well, technically they can uh, have a permissible purpose to um, check your credit if you are giving them a check. However, if you pay uh, in advance and the funds have cleared, or if you give them a cashier's check or wire the money in, there really is no legitimate reason for them to be trying to make an inquiry about your uh, credit history and get a credit application and credit report. Sometimes they say that they need it uh, for test drive. That's flatly untrue. Uh, there really is no law that allows them to, uh, in an accompanied test drive, to require a credit history. Again. The more that they use these types of um, misrepresentations, um, which themselves can be illegal, um, to get your credit application, uh, the more you should be wary of this dealership because it's, uh, they're presaging, they're, they're giving you an, uh, an indication right away that they're really uh, willing to bend or break the law to um, make the sale the way they want to make it and control you uh, and the flow of information. So uh, be careful. If somebody says that you have to provide them a credit application, um, that's really probably never true because you can always walk away. Um, but as part of a sale that's a credit sale, if you're trying to get them to arrange financing for you or provide financing, or in sometimes when you uh, are providing a check, uh, or other unsecured funds, they, they can ask for one. Um, and if you see our other videos, we'll tell you under what timing and under what circumstances you could uh, safely or wisely sign one of these things.